my, my, Scorpio, we have an interesting one for you today. Stay tuned to find out more. Hello, 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 Scorpio, Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome to your Valentine's Day reading. It'll be between now and Valentine's Day. The energy will extend beyond that time for up to a week. So bask in whatever wonderful energy we get for you. I am hoping for good things. I just did your, um, I just did your fellow water signs readings, Pisces and Cancer. And both of their readings were downright amazing. So, so Scorpio, if you are dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer, please be sure to check them out. All right, welcome back, Empress Empire, my VIP group. Please be sure to check on the main channel. Scroll down, you'll find 15 videos that I produced for you. We have 10 of cups, look at that. Um, 15 videos that I produced for you for the VIP marathon the other day. All right, subscribers, as always, welcome back. You guys keep me working on this channel day in and day out. Oh, wow, we just got an interesting reading. We haven't even started. <laughs> if you are brand new to the channel, welcome, welcome. I refer to my spirit guides, Fred, Cecil, and Sylvia. All right. This is amazing. They are not people, just so you know. They are not people. They are spirits that are present while I am working on the cards. Um, we are going to read the cards that came out and then I'll split the deck and we will do a main reading for you, Scorpio. But my goodness, this is already looking amazing with one little big gotcha. However, I think the big gotcha might be in your own mind. So we have the Ten of Cups, the Moon, the Seven of Swords. Could be dealing with a Pisces. This is Pisces. This is Pisces. And this is um, Aquarius. Now, it could just also signify the time of year, right? We're in the time of Aquarius. We're moving into the time of Pisces. So this could signify something that's going to go on over the next few weeks. Now, we have the Ten of Cups. We have the, the Moon. They're both very emotional energies, right? Both very emotional energies. However, Scorpio, there is a secret that's coming out. With the Seven of Swords and the Moon, Seven of Swords can be betrayal big time betrayal or it could be a small betrayal so this could be on your part or it could be on their part something is coming to light something is coming to the surface that has not yet been seen it could be that what comes to the surface is that somebody is deeply and madly and hopelessly devoted to you Scorpio with this ten of cups so hold on to your seat <laughs> Let's see what the tarot brings us. Because <laughs> that's looking mighty interesting. I got me a Scorpio moon. And I'm telling you that those cards don't have to do with me. <laughs> so for whomever that's for, that looks really, really lovely. All right. We have the tower. Your energy, Scorpio. Are we surprised by that? The devil. That's Capricorn. Two of Wands, Aries. Ten of Coins, Virgo. Ace of Coins, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Chariot, Cancer. The Eight of Cups, that's Pisces. And the Magician, Virgo, Gemini. Temperance, Sagittarius. We're gonna leave these cards up because I think we're gonna be taking some more cards. What are you walking away from? Eight of Cups. Or are they walking away from you because they have the chariot? Oh, that's what's happening. Oh, Scorpio. Somebody is walking away from a love of a lifetime. That's either you or the other person. Walking away from a love of, love of a lifetime. 
the Ten of Cups, the Moon. I mean, that's really, really, really deep, deep emotions. Seven of Swords. It's like they're picking up their swords and they're heading on out. There goes that chariot. All right. Such a shame. All righty. And see, and then we have the tower. <laughs> Yikes. So, so let me just note that you and your person are both too much in the mind. You need to release whatever's going on up in the mind because what's going on in the heart space is much better. Okay. But it, this is two people caught up in their minds. Now, Scorpio, you have a tendency to, um, I don't want to use the word obsess because for you it's not obsessing it's actually more of um assessing right so you stay up in your mind until you're able to work something through right well this person is also up in their mind you're both up in your head too much you both need to let that go on a heart level you're trying to figure out how do i take action towards my person and they've got the ten of coins so perhaps they're in a long-term committed relationship. They may be married. There may be a focus on the fact that they're working on that long-term committed partnership or they're working on that marriage. If this person is not in a long-term committed partnership, Scorpio, then in their heart of hearts, their strongest desire is to be with you. Now, Ace of Coins and the chariot. So you're heading towards a new beginning here, this Ace of Cups. Um, perhaps you're offering something to your person. They have the chariot. It's like they are ready to race forward and accept what it is that you are bringing to them. And it's almost like, like nothing will get in their way. <laughs> but Scorpio, we have the Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away from something. And I feel like it's walking away from this love. Maybe you're walking away from a love moving towards this person. Maybe they're walking away from a love moving towards you. Or maybe you're walking away from each other. Now, we have the Magician and the Temperance card. The magician is knowing that the time is right to take some sort of action and bring peace between you and this person. And with the magician card, it's like, well, let me, let me work on bringing peace to this. Let me put some energy into it. Let me figure out how to move forward to get what I want. And with the temperance card, I feel that you're being patient or your person has been very patient with you. Five of coins. Do we have three people here? Um, because I don't see you apart from this person. I mean, we, we do have reconciliation, but... Ace of Cups, new beginning down at the bottom. <sighs> Ten of Swords, Queen of Cups over here. All right, Scorpio, we're gonna have to extend this. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue this in the extended, but let me show you what I've got so far. Um, your person over here with this chariot is trying to move towards releasing the mental burdens. And with the Queen of Cups, um, perhaps this is somebody. This is somebody that loves you a great deal, Scorpio. Now, I don't think you're with this person. There's either you're not with this person. So I'm feeling like 
you've either got two people uh, and you're not together or you've got three people and you're with one and apart from the other. If you are with one and apart from the other, this one is the one you're apart from because it kind of came out separate and the cards I'm feeling here don't feel like you are apart from this person. Now, we have the Ace of Cups. That's new love, right? We have the High Priestess. It's an intuitive energy. Could be dealing with, with an intuitive person. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, Fate and destiny are at play, some sort of life lesson here. And the six of wands, a desire to be successful in love. So Scorpio, I feel you have a desire to be successful in love, but for some of you, that desire to be successful in love is to be successful with two people. Um, that won't be all of you. And perhaps I'm reading for somebody who's polyamorous. You know, and if I'm reading for somebody for, who's polyamorous, I see a lot of love on both sides, okay? Um, if I'm not reading for that, and I'm reading a situation where you're apart from the love of your life, but you also love this person and you're, you're working on this connection, then I'm seeing, I'm seeing spirit stepping in and making some sort of an adjustment here with the Wheel of Fortune. So be prepared for that because that may be coming up soon. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump into the extended. Stay tuned to find out what I find out. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one. And uh, well, where you're at right now, Scorpio, just so you know where you are, are at right now. You have a desire to reconcile with someone. It may or may not be this person. It may be this other. So desire to reconcile and leaving something behind so stay tuned oh my scorpio wow okay so scorpio we had quite the reading so this is everything for the first half of the reading this is everything for the second half of the reading so i am showing scorpio um so i do see two people Okay, just to let you know that. Um, one of which you are walking away from in, in favor of working on this situation here. So this particular situation. Uh, but let me just let you know in case this is a Scorpio who's dealing with that. That this appears to be something that you're not happy about you're not happy about it you're feeling like your new beginning has been stolen from you you're feeling like you, there's nothing here to celebrate nothing to be happy about but the decision apparently had to be made um, i do see love endures and since this card came out what what I decided to do after that time, Scorpio, was take some cards on this other person here and what's going to happen with that. So we looked at that very briefly. Um, we also took a, a very quick look at zero to three months, three to six months with this person. And hopefully that will be of help to whomever is dealing with this very complicated situation. <laughs> Um, I also see, uh, and I'm going to mention this on YouTube, I did mention it in the um, extended as well, but let me just show you the cards. So I was drawn to the sun card for just a brief moment. At the very end, I was just kind of talking and I looked through my cards, but I wasn't pulling anything and there was a baby. And this one came out in the reverse. So I just wanted to note, um, Scorpio, if you or your person happen to be pregnant, please be sure to make, make certain that you stay up on your doctor's appointments, that you take your, you know, prenatal vitamins, that sort of thing, um, that you take good care of your health during the pregnancy. And if you are dealing with a complicated birth, and I'm getting strong spirit chills from Fred, if you're dealing with a complicated birth, please be sure to stay connected with your 
medical professionals and your doctor, okay? I'm not trying to scare you. It's just Fred is saying, make sure you take good care of yourself. Okay, make sure you take good care of yourself or you take good care of your person. All right, my dears, love and light to you. If you are interested in the extended to find out more, there's a link down below in the description and in the comments. Um, and I shall see you again soon. Love and light to you. Bye.